Today we got for you some beautiful beef short ribs smoked on the Traeger pellet grill. It's going to be tasty, spicy, and fat. Alright guys, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue. I'm Todd, Sassy's over there working. It's my Friday day off here, which I get every couple weeks. Unfortunately, I know most other people have to work and I uh, feel for you. It should please you to know that I'm spending today cooking for you guys. We're going to be the ones actually eating it though. Now guys, before we get started with all the fun, I just want to let you guys know that only about 50% of you guys watching these videos are subscribed to this channel. So I'd really appreciate it if you just take a little time right there and smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you like what you're seeing. We got ourselves here four beautiful beef short ribs. They are a graded prime. They're from Costco. And when I saw these, I stuck them into Sassy's grocery basket and, uh, well, let's just say that I was, I was forgiven. So you guys have seen us grill and barbecue and smoke plenty of times. You might want to ask, why aren't we going to use the Yoder uh, offset stick burner? Well, this is my Friday day off. I like to do other things around the house besides tend to a fire for 12 hours or however long it'll take, six maybe. And, uh, and the pellet grill is perfect for that. Be sure to watch all the way then. I do have a little secret ingredient that I wanna show you guys that's guaranteed to make this some juicy, juicy barbecue. Okay, so here are the ribs. You've seen these before, beef short ribs. These may not look like much, but when you cook them, they plump. Now I like to use a binder or schmear, some people call it, to get that seasoning to stick. And I'm gonna use Old Faithful yellow mustard. Now any old yellow mustard will work. This is where you can personalize it to your own taste. Use a spicy mustard if you want, doesn't matter. I recommend an organic mustard if you can find it, but otherwise just put on some mustard, give it a nice liberal coating. For a long time now, I've been concentrating on just simplicity and repeating the process and perfection. That, folks, is really one of the biggest secrets in barbecue is consistency. You get perfection, remember what you did, and then repeat. If you could repeat that consistency over and over with just small little improvements along the way and remember what you did, guys, your barbecue will be the hit every time. SPG, what is it? Coarse ground black pepper, coarse ground salt, better known as kosher salt, and granulated garlic. Now, use whatever brand you want, but here are the ratios that I use. I use three parts of the coarse ground pepper, one part salt, one part garlic. If you like a little bit of color, you can put some cumin in there, you can put some paprika, you can put some cayenne, but I recommend just the SPG. After it's been mixed up very thoroughly, Give a nice, generous coating on all sides, on the ends. Just make sure it's very well coated. Now, what I've seen a lot of other people do is put your meat away once you've seasoned it up, stick it back in the fridge, and that salt will actually help pull the moisture from inside the meat to the surface. It creates kind of a glaze, guys, and that is what the smoke is gonna stick to and create that beautiful black bark that we're all looking for. All right, guys, so what we're using here is my trusty Traeger. Now, I got this Traeger probably about 10 or 11 years ago. I believe it's one that was made up in Oregon before they sold out and uh, sold out to uh, some, some other company and now they're all made in China. But this thing is trucked along beautifully. I've never had nearly a squeak out of this thing. So the kind of pellets I'm using are charcoal pellets. Now these are Pit Boss pellets. The hopper is only about a third full. It's all I have left. So I'm using Mesquite Blend Pit Boss uh, on top of that so I don't run out. Now I think uh, it's going to be a great flavor combination and honestly uh, sometimes you don't even know what kind of flavor pellets you use on some of these smokers. This trigger is a little bit better. I've got some modifications here. You know there's some old videos if you want to go check it out. But uh, what we're doing is we're cooking at 250. I put it on a separate grate so it's easier to rotate if I need to. And I'm not even gonna look at this for about four hours, but when I do, I'm bringing you with me. All right guys, while that's cooking, you know, we've had opportunity to uh, do a few projects around the house and stuff and uh, eat a uh, normal lunch, uh, which 
consisted of a very hearty salad for myself. Um, that's the beauty of a pellet grill, guys. You could set it, forget it, almost. You still have to check it on once in a while just to make sure that uh, nothing broke or, or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm superstitious like that. But I wanted to tell you that also uh, indispensable to any cook is an instant read thermometer, guys. This one happens to be a, a uh, Thermo Pro. Uh, this one I picked up at Lowe's. Uh, um, they once sent me one uh, about a year ago or a year and a half ago, and that was very gracious of them. I ended up giving it away as a present. Uh, but I do uh, like this brand. Also indispensable to smoking is some kind of a food grade water bottle. In this case, I market food. Uh, and I've got some apple cider vinegar water 50-50 uh, mix in here. Uh, if you need to spritz, um, that's what I would recommend having on hand. Now, uh, if you guys like any of the gadgets that you see us using here, be sure to go hit the links up. We have an Amazon store with everything already divided up in categories for you. All kinds of kitchen gadgets to smokers themselves to fuel. So go check it out, guys. We even got some Texas Post Oak wood for sale there. So go check it out. Now, back to the video. So I guess I better uh, spill the beans of what the secret ingredient is and that would be beef tallow not just any tallow I have a little bit of leftover beef tallow from a brisket cook we did a couple weeks ago it's actually a uh, Wagyu uh, or Angus uh, locally raised beef um, it's exceptionally tasty I cooked it on the Yoder or cooked it down it was brisket trimmings that just came out so good I only had a little bit left because, uh, believe it or not, I used some of it on the brisket itself. So what I did is I mixed it in with some store-bought stuff. It's pretty good quality. I'll leave a little flash here. Check out our store for more. And um, so, what I, so what I decided to do is check the temperature. They were pretty close to where I wanted them to be. Didn't want to wait for that bark anymore, although I'm happy with it. It did pass the uh, scrape test. So I took four sheets of pink butcher paper. I took the tallow, brushed it on there. Now the tallow really helps with the paper wrapping a lot. It helps work with that paper, but I also like to think that it makes that first bite so juicy and delicious and it fools you into thinking it's a lot juicier than it really is. Um, plus it's tasty as hell. So I uh, went ahead and wrapped the four of them up, put them right back on the smoker, tried to keep the same orientation as I did when I was cooking them, bone down, meat up, and then I cranked up the temperature 25 degrees to 275 and at this point I'm just gonna go two more hours I think that's all it needs uh, right now we're looking at a total of three plus two plus I'm gonna rest at one that's gonna be a total of uh, yeah well you know you get it all right guys let's take a look at one of these right here notice how juicy they are here that's all that uh, wonderful beef tallow that we used Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. All right, guys. I would say that's plenty of bone pullback right there. Look at that. Looks beautiful. That's just kind of coming off one side. The uh, Costco was nice enough to remove the membrane. So uh, typically, you want to leave the membrane on these to kind of leave, leave them on the bone, you know, so they stay on the bone a little bit better. But that's okay guys but, but look at that right there go ahead and cut right down here i think probably just pull that right off oh there we go not bad not bad okay miss sassy uh mrs <laughs> greenhorn oh yeah oh it just falls apart now i want to point Ooh, this out that. right here that little bit of fat right there see that color there Kind of squishes a little bit, you know. That that's how you want your your beef fat to render, guys. That's perfect. And uh, let's go ahead and taste this. Oh man, super tender. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. mm. Beef ribs, guys, are life changing as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, the perfect blend of SPG and the ratio that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, the beef tallow, and the uh, Crushed red pepper flakes, 
adds just a little bit of a note of uh, spice. And oh my god, delish. of course, delish, babe. Of course, the Traeger, um, the bark tastes uh, almost mm. like a little bit of a charcoal hint right there, um, in a good way. Mm. And uh, oh, that's awesome. Look at this. So if you've never had uh, life-changing beef ribs, guys, go get you some and uh, tell me how you did in the comments below. If you have any questions about uh, anything you didn't uh, catch, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to get right back to you. Uh, and if I don't right away, just be patient. And um, this is melts in your mouth. That is proper barbecue right you there. You know what? It does. The mm. fat, it just melts in your mouth. Mm. That's what I was looking for. And that's prime, the grade. Yeah. And, you know, after you eat, de eat um, after you eat good barbecue, this is all you should have left. The bone. Good to the last bite. <clears throat> all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate uh, that you subscribe and uh, hit the notification button. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below. Share this video if, if you want. Um, and be sure to check us out on Facebook, Greenhorn Barbecue Beer Discussions Facebook page. We share a lot of other things there besides just cooking. And, uh, you know, that's about it. So, guys, until the next one, we'll see you later. Delicious, babe.